Terrifier 1. Regarded by most fans as the least interesting, worst film of the franchise, and I'm not talking about like the entire franchise, just the trilogy. And with that being true, it's still an insanely weird movie for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why this movie is just so eerie for some reason. I think the first movie is, like I said, the most eerie. The second one is the most gory, and the third one is just the best one. I think what makes this movie so weird and unsettling is one, the dark atmosphere, but two, a key point in the movie, he doesn't smile, you know? With everyone being so used to him smiling, what would be cool for Terrifier 4 is if they just made him not smile. He was just fully angry during Terrifier 4, which... I'm not saying I would want that because if he's smiling and doing all that in Terrifier 2, then who knows, you know? Who knows what we'll see in Terrifier 4 if that's the case. And you guys are probably thinking, continue, what, what do you know about the Terrifier franchise? You know, you're an idiot. Well, you know, if we just go over here <laughs> and then we turn this way <laughs> and then boom. Oh, wow. This really solidifies my placement in the Terrifier franchise. Another thing that I want to point out in this movie is that there is no storyline compared to two and three. There's just nothing, you know, <laughs> it's just art killing people for, for fun. The other characters have no backstory. Art himself barely has any backstory, you know, realistic all we see is him put some face paint on and then just walk around in his little shed and while that makes the movie worse it just it's so so weird and i'm not saying this is the first movie to do that obviously it's just everything with him not smiling which sounds dumb when i say it out loud but being realistic him not smiling is pretty unsettling i'm not gonna lie and even when he does in the first movie it's always it's just so weird i just feel like the best he's looked in the series was terrifier one. And I'm not saying it doesn't look good now, you know? To me, the actor of art's best performance is Terrifier 3, easily. But the best he's looked is definitely Terrifier 1. I feel like he's not as animated in this movie as the second or third one, but at the same time he is, you know? He's moving around, smiling up and down. This movie is just so disturbing. I don't know why, but it's a different kind. And I feel like I'm one of the only people with this opinion. I've never seen anyone talk about this. To be honest, predicting terrifier 4 i feel like he's gonna be insanely weird in that movie and major spoilers i feel like he's not able to smile for a moment because he realizes that his little demon invincibility powers are gone and now that he knows that he can actually die he's just he's just sitting there wondering what led him up to this moment but yeah like i said i've never seen anyone talk about this I feel like it just needs to be said terrifier 1 needs some respect you know comment what you think about terrifier 1 because it it holds like a soft place in my heart due to it being so different to me for some reason. And I've seen other slashers. I've seen Jason, Freddy Krueger, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. And that's the end.